China is the second largest economy and the second most populated country in the world, holding significant power in the global system. It's experienced a very fast rate of economic development in the past decades, making it an important player in global trade, production, and innovation. China has a long history of 5,000 years, and it's managed to balance the traditional and the contemporary as seen in the Belt and Road Initiative and space projects. Nevertheless, the Chinese economy faces various challenges, including population aging and environment. But the country remains a key element of the global economy and geopolitics thanks to its planning and innovation. China's focus on mega-projects indicates its desire to become a world superpower. As a result of infrastructure, technology, and economic globalization strategies, China has set itself a series of grand plans that are reshaping its internal and external environments. Ranging from the colossal Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, to the construction of vast smart cities, these initiatives are aimed at improving accessibility and increasing business. The BRI itself covers over 60 countries and seeks to build a new Silk Road through modern infrastructure. At home, China is spending a lot of money on renewable energy power plants, high-speed rail transport, and city construction, outlining its plan for sustainable and green urbanization. Such mega-projects are not only transforming the future of China, but also the world economy and geopolitics, in line with the vision and commitment of the nation. Take the example of the construction of the Shanghai Tower. Completed in 2015, it was considered one of the greatest achievements of China in the architectural and engineering field. It's 632 meters high and is the second tallest building in the world. The tower has 128 floors of multi-purpose area for business, hotels, and shops. Its double-layer external envelope controls the energy consumption, and the building has a special spiral form to withstand the force of the wind. Besides its architectural significance in Shanghai and China's skyline, the Shanghai Tower also embodies the growth and prosperity of the city, as well as the country's vision in green and innovative architecture. In the spirit of the Shanghai Tower, China is working on building or expanding other mega-projects in 2025, some of which we'll discuss in this video. Perhaps the biggest project of them all, the Belt and Road Initiative, is a massive global connectivity and economic cooperation project, which was announced by China in 2013 to promote trade and economic integration in Asia, Europe, and Africa. The BRI aims at constructing railways, highways, ports, and pipelines connecting the participating countries and recreating the ancient Silk Road for better economic integration. This grand strategy has drawn more than 140 countries and international organizations who are pledging large sums of money for infrastructure and connectivity. The role of the BRI is also diverse. On the economic front, it's capable of providing a path to growth in the developing regions, balance the trade relations, and offer new opportunities for Chinese products and services. In its political aspect, it enhances the position of China and promotes collaboration with other countries involved in the project. However, the initiative also has its critics, who are worried about issues such as the sustainability of accumulated debt for the developing countries who receive money from China, the environmental consequences of the Belt and Road Initiative, and the growth of China's influence in key areas of the world. Nevertheless, the BRI remains an important component of China's foreign policy and international relations. Second on the list, we have the Beijing Daxing International Airport, a new demonstration of China's desire to have a state-of-the-art infrastructure which is set to boost its capacity and functionality as a global aviation hub. The airport was established in 2019 and is still in the process of expansion, involving more terminals, runways, and facilities. This expansion is to enhance passenger traffic and cargo handling to improve connectivity and the economic traffic of Beijing. Daxing is one of the biggest airports in the world, an example of China's desire to preserve a standard for its mega-projects. Next up, we have the South to North Water Diversion Project, which is one of the largest engineering projects of the world designed to transport water from the south to the water-scarce north of China. Initiated in 2002, the project has three routes. These are the eastern, central, and western regions. The eastern and central routes are already in service and transport billions of cubic meters of water per year to cities such as Beijing and Tianjin. Work on the western route that's to divert water from the Yangtze River goes on with further evaluation and design. This massive project is considered vital for China's water security, economic development, and regional balance, which displays the country's readiness to face environmental issues. 
Another mega airport that China is expanding is the Chengdu Tianfu International Airport, which was opened in 2021 with the goal to make Chengdu an international aviation center. The second phase of the airport is expected to be ready by 2025, and it'll greatly expand the airport's capacity. This expansion involves construction of other runways, terminals, and modern facilities to cater for up to 90 million passengers per year. As a new airport in Chengdu, Tianfu Airport is designed to provide a connection to the western part of China thus contributing to the city's economic growth and becoming an important node in the global economy. The project reflects China's vision to build first-rate infrastructure and places Chengdu at a strategic point in the country's aviation as well as economic map. And the first but not the last railway megaproject that we'll discuss in this video is Beijing Xiongyang's Inner City Railway that'll be completed by 2025 and is an important section of transport infrastructure connecting Beijing and the Xiongyang New Area which is also a major economic development area. This high-speed railway shortens the traveling time between the two regions to less than an hour, hence promoting increased integration and economic accessibility between the two regions. It also has smart operational systems and self-driving features integrated within the designs of the car. It's a key transport infrastructure for Xiongyang, aimed at solving the problem of overcrowding in Beijing and providing conditions for the progressive growth of cities. This project is one of the best examples of China's efforts to modernize its transport infrastructure and develop regions equally. Another railway mega project is Guangzhou Foshan Metro, a large-scale city rail transit plan which will integrate the two cities of Guangzhou and Foshan by 2025. This will include an extensive metro network that will cover over 500 kilometers, boosting the mobility of the people in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area and easing traffic jams. This metro, with its modern technology and sustainable design, will help millions of residents in accessing efficient and environmentally friendly means of transport. The project is vital for the development of the region and its fast-growing urbanization and economy, which shows that China is committed to creating smart and sustainable cities and infrastructure that will enhance the quality of lives of people and the economy. China is also expanding the largest hydropower project in the world, the Three Gorges Dam which is currently in the process of modernization to increase its performance. The planned upgrades will finish by 2025, involving the enhancement of the dam's power generation and flood control functions. The goal of the project is to guarantee that the dam remains relevant in meeting China's energy demands, while at the same time taking into consideration the environmental impacts and the effects of climate change. It'll also enhance sediment management and navigation along the Yangtze River. These mega-projects are a vision for infrastructure, economic development, and integration at the international level, starting from the largest Chengdu Tianfu International Airport to the revolutionary Beijing Chongan Inner City Railway. These projects demonstrate China's path to modernization and sustainable development. The Guangzhou Foshan Metro is intended to help solve the problem of traffic jams in cities and improve the connection between cities in the Greater Bay Area, demonstrating innovative transport technologies. In the same way, the Hainan Free Trade Port aims at enhancing the level of the island's global trade platform, diversification, and innovation. Improvements made at the Three Gorges Dam indicate China's commitment to sustainable energy solutions and environmentalism. Every project is aligned with China's political agenda in infrastructure modernization, technological advancement, and economic liberalization, making the country a leader in connectivity and economic power. Altogether, these mega-projects don't just contribute to improving China's internal infrastructure, but also strengthen its position in determining the international supply chain and economic processes. They demonstrate China's ability to undertake colossal engineering projects and its willingness to drive sustainable development, thus establishing a standard for other global infrastructure projects to follow in the 21st century. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to Concrete Jungles for more great content like this, and we'll see you in the next one.